This is something new to me because right here in front of me we have the world's smallest Bluetooth portable electrostatic speaker system. Normally electrostatic speakers are reserved for high-end speakers which are going to cost you a pretty penny. But right here inside the small compact size we actually have that same technology that's going to give us amazing bass, mids, highs, and a very low distortion rate of less than 1% compared to a standard conventional speaker which is around 10%. We're looking at dual 12 watt subwoofers, dual amplifiers, as well as dual diaphragms to give you amazing lows, mids, and highs. You can use this to listen to music regularly or you can use the proprietary 3D technology that allows you to have a distortion free 3D experience. You can even connect two of these together to have party mode or stereo mode if you want to have a bigger sound. That being said, the BenQ Trivolo S electrostatic Bluetooth speaker right here, fairly lightweight, looking great in the picture, and the technology behind this makes me pretty excited because every other Bluetooth speaker it's basically just the same old thing with a different design. And this actually looks very cool, it looks like the speakers actually fold in on itself so that way you can actually take it with you. We're looking at up to 18 hours of continuous play, support for 16-bit digital audio via micro USB. Okay, well that's a big bummer, micro USB. I guess. Non-distorted 3D sound, extraordinary vocal clarity, expressive bass and mid-range along with edgy everywhere design. I mean, it looks nice, but then you see that micro USB and man, really, they, they really came through with the micro USB. Pretty disappointed on that end. Yeah, you know, basic packaging once you get inside. Inside the box of the US prongs, the micro USB power adapter, which, I mean, how many volts is this? Five volts at two amps. So, I mean, you could actually use any micro USB cable you have laying around because I didn't like to see this. But it's nice to have this in case you wanna go travel abroad. You can actually replace this with other sizes depending on what country you're in. But, man, it's still micro USB. A nice drawstring carry, wait, can this, can the speaker can fit in here? Like, this thing's small. I mean, <laughs> if the speaker can fit in here, this thing's gonna be tiny. We also have a quick start guide, and then we have the speaker. It's, ooh, I mean, it feels solid so far. Ooh, okay. Surprise, hmm, I'm a little kind of disappointed. It looks like we've got the white version here that has the silver accents. I like the one in the picture that's black with the gold accents, but. I guess, you know, feels very nice in the hands though. Right here on the front, we do have the dual 12 watt subwoofers that's gonna give you some crazy bass. Speaker grills are metal, they look very nice. Really liking that, I got some Tree Volo branding on the front. Over on the back, we have some BenQ branding along with the 3.5 millimeter port along with the <laughs> micro USB charging port. So, man, that's like the one thing I hate about this thing already. But I mean, it's looking very nice. Up here on the top, we have the NFC tag, so you can actually tap your phone. I guess it's only gonna be Android because iPhone doesn't support that, but you can tap your phone to play your music, play and pause button, a mode switch, so with the tap of a single button, boom, 3D audio. Volume up and down, Bluetooth pairing button, as well as a power button with two LED lights. Folding this out, instead of having tweeters, we actually have the two electrostatic speakers that are gonna give you that amazing crisp, clear clarity of audio. Now, looking at this, I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it seems kind of flimsy. You know, it's, it's all right. It's looking cool, but you know, it's just like, kind of just there. It doesn't really lock into place too much. I mean, it kind of does, but it's not like, it doesn't look completely straight. It's a little bit back. And right here underneath the electrostatic speaker, we actually have some rubber feet here. So that way when you close it, actually it still made a sound. <laughs> I thought it was gonna protect it a bit, but it makes that nice satisfying sound, so I'm not mad about it. But we also have two passive radius, so you can put this in a corner and have a nice bass response. And then of course down here on the bottom, nice rubber grip, which is actually angled a bit, if you could see that. So that way it's actually angled slightly upward, so it gives you music. Yeah, and you know, it's pretty grippy. Overall, it's looking pretty cool, although I would definitely prefer the black option with the gold, but you know, it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers, right? So let's actually see if we have any juice. And we don't, so it looks like we have to use the micro USB cable. We do have a red LED light on. Let's see if we can power it on now. Okay, it's on. We have a flashing blue LED light for the Bluetooth. Great. And it's flashing rapidly. We're in pairing mode. Let's go. Travolo S. Very easy to pair with a touch of a screen. All right. 
We're connected, very nice. And now that we're connected, let's get some music pumping. That was pretty disappointing. That didn't sound good at all. Huh. Let me let me let me let me try, let me try something else. <laughs> Wait, what? I like there's there's bass. I feel like the mids and the highs get drowned out by the bass. And I do hear some distortion, which you know, usually on a Bluetooth speaker, I don't hear distortion until I max it out. Like, huh? Let me let me try something else. Fresh is our turn, baby. Get up, get up. Hey. <laughs> huh? I don't like the way it sounds at all. It sounds really like tinny, other than the bass being there. But you know, it's drowning out everything. But you can still hear that tinniness. Get an evil hiss than a band of demons. How big is your mansion? Okay, so I'm actually <laughs> Man, I'm actually disappointed here. I was expecting this to sound amazing, but it doesn't. I mean granted the price isn't super high, but if we take a look at this bad boy, the Bose Sound Flex. Bluetooth portable speaker, which, you know, let me see, size wise, you know, it's a lot more portable, a lot more durable. This thing can take a beating. It's made to be waterproof and everything. This thing is less than this, but it's so much better. Now, I'm not sure if this is a problem comparing apples to oranges or something, but I mean, seriously, cheaper, more durable, easier to take with you because you don't have moving parts, and it just sounds way better. That's insane! Watch, I'm gonna try to get this through to you guys. It's gonna be really hard going over video, but you know, I'm sure you'll be able to hear something. All right, so we're gonna start off with the BenQ. Now we're going to switch over to the bow sound flex. It's seriously like a night and day difference. If you were here right now, you'd definitely be able to hear the difference. Not sure if it's coming over clearly for you guys, but it's seriously unbelievable. I mean, I guess Bose is on a whole other level. I mean, they are the audio experts, you know, more or less. So, I mean, it makes sense. But seriously, I mean, they were hyping this thing up like crazy. This thing, I mean, I guess this is kind of hyped up, more or less. But, you know, it's Bose, and you get that Bose quality sound right here. But this, I've heard better. Like, a Beats Pill sounds better than this. This just is very disappointing to me. I don't know. Let me try one more time, just to be sure. I actually hear distortion in this thing. That's the problem. It says there's no distortion, but I hear distortion. Now, if I play it over here. It's a much deeper sound, much clearer sound, much crisper sound, much more balanced sound. Like everything about this one, I feel like is almost perfect. This over here. Like it sounds flat, I hear distortion, it's not as loud. Every it's just oh man. Hmm. Go with the bows. I mean, I can. Like it, this looks kind of cool if you want to have it sitting up on your like nightstand or something, but it it doesn't sound that good. Plus it's micro USB. Yep, 
Type C right here. So the Bose is cheaper than the BenQ. Sounds amazing versus, yeah. USB Type C, micro USB. This wasn't even supposed to be a comparison, but like, there, there is kind of no comparison here. The Bose just sounds better. It's just doesn't sound as good as I was expecting. I was kind of excited too. Electrostatic speakers, and I basically hear electrostatic. 